let's take a look at manipulating sequences and sums in Maple. Suppose we had this problem. Find a function whose Taylor series is given by this sequence right here, series right here. 1 fifth plus 4 twenty fifths x minus 1 plus 9 1 twenty fifths x minus 1 squared plus 16 6 twenty fifths x minus 1 cubed plus 25 31 twenty fifths x minus 1 to the fourth, etc. Maybe the first thing to do is try to find a pattern in these numbers right here. You notice that the numerators and the fractions, 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25, are squares of numbers. So a numerator might look like n squared. The denominators are powers of 5. 5, 5 squared, 5 cubed, 5 to the fourth. So maybe the bottom looks like 5 to the n. And then each of the other terms are x minus 1's raised to an nth power. So this might be a reasonable guess as to what formula for the coefficients right here. Now I can test this guess out by having Maple actually work out a sequence of these values for me. The command is seq for sequence. Tell it the name of the formula you'd like to work with. Sorry about that. And then how many terms you'd like to plot out. So I'm going to plot out starting with n equals 0 up to n equals 5, the first six terms. And I get 0, 1 fifth x minus 1, 4 twenty fifths x minus 1 squared. I'm not quite there. I seem to be getting the numerators I'm getting all the right denominators, but I seem to be sort of off by powers right here. It seems like my first term, for example, starting with a 0 instead of a, a 1 right here. So I might tinker around with this. For example, if this is the 0th term, well then the power up top should be 1 squared. This is the first term, the power up top is 2 squares. It looks like the power up top should be n plus 1. And so I can recheck my guess here. Now at least I'm starting with a 1, a 4, a 9, and a 16 in the right spots but my denominators seem to be not matching. In fact, my denominators seem to be off by a 5. So if I were to boost the denominator by this, n plus 1 squared times x minus 1 to the n over 5 to the n plus 1, a little trial and error, and I've managed to get my terms to match bit by bit by bit. So now that I've got what the sequence is, I could then have Maple go and sum these things. And the command for summing them is to change seq into sum for sum. And so now it adds these terms together, and I can see that I've got the fifth order approximation. And so that's a pretty handy little trick right here. If you'd like Maple to actually add up all infinitely many, it is capable of doing that. Just and change a sum from zero to the fifth order term to zero to infinity. And when you crank this out, Maple will think hard and fast about this, and it will eventually spit out an answer. It turns out that this right here is the Taylor series for this function. Now I could test that in hindsight by taking this function and working out its Taylor series. So I'll select series, series x. All I have to do is pick an expansion point. Well, clearly this series is expanded at 1. So I'll pick 1, and I'll pick the order 5 approximation and see whether or not I get these numbers right here. 1 25th, 9 1 25ths, and so we did in fact find the correct Taylor series.